Hey, 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 hey. You know how to stay back, but some people don't understand that. You probably see this real. Nueve herramientas de trabajo para que lo utilicen con sus jugadores. Busquen un cinturón, colóquenle una banda y ganchos para que la agarren desde el piso. Aquellos jugadores que se le van adelante a la bola y le brincan. Esta herramienta lo va a ayudar bastante porque esa goma, cada vez que ustedes hacen swing, miren cómo la goma me jala hacia atrás. Recuérdense que es importante que todos los bateadores aprendan a quedársele atrás a la bola, a darle a la bola atrás. You see that drill? That drill is staying back. You hold, you, you, you like put yourself like in a, in a strap and hold yourself back because if that strap don't let you go forward. Uh-huh. That dude, is my, he was moving forward. I don't got nothing against him. I just trying to use a sample, okay? Don't take me as a, oh, why are you talking bad about other coaches? I don't talking bad about other coaches, but you need to see it because you may be doing this drill to stay back and you don't doing it right. That's why I'm saying, it's not about staying back drills or turning drills. It's about understanding what's supposed to happen. If you got better understanding, you know I'm gonna mess up the drills so you don't waste your time. You know what is the worst part? When you're doing a drill for so long and then the kid is already tired when you throw BP and the kid was doing the wrong thing. I prefer he get tired doing it right because he understand what he's supposed to do right, okay? Because just because you're doing drills, that don't mean you're gonna make you good. If you don't have the understanding of how to move, how to turn, how to stay back, you may be still in the same trouble because you're gonna in some point you're gonna do it wrong and you're gonna get in that slump okay watch this so basically he's all here trapped maybe a little weight over there with a little cable i don't know chains or a stretchy band i don't know something there that make you stay back i see mlb players doing it this is the difference he's not doing it right I know coaches, they put drills in YouTube and Instagram to get subscribe, likes, or whatever. I don't blame them. You had to look for something interesting. I, I, I know people look for drills. I know this drill, to stay back, it will be a clickbait because you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I need my kids to stay back because it's, most the basic, it's one of the basic problems a lot of kids have. They don't know how to stay back. But look it. He's holding himself back right here with that stretchy band. But look at what he's doing. He creating the separation and look at what he's doing. When he land that heel and he's turning, look at how he's moving forward. You lose the purpose. You lose the purpose. You got double move. You know, creating the move in your back leg. That little move that you probably didn't feel it. You probably didn't feel it because you don't understand it's gonna create big problems when you're trying to create elite level swing. If you are not trying to create elite level swing, you basically telling yourself that you're not gonna be never one of the best baseball players in the world. I'm talking about mechanics from Hall of Famers, Barry Bones, Manny Ramirez, they all move the same. They all move the same. They were really good staying back. They were really good reading the ball. They were really good turning that barrel. So guess what? We need to teach our kids for the sakes of baseball. We need to teach our kids the right move. So the baseball start becoming uh, next Barry Bones out there. You know what I mean? Like next Maguire, next uh, Sammy Sosa. I know it's probably gonna be hard because you don't see too much uh, muscle guys because the juice, but if they got the right move, you can see a lot of Mookie Betts, a lot of Atuve is great. He moved right, you know, he turned that barrel. You know, if every kid, I know his kids watching this, and I know it's a future legend right now watching us. So, what's up? See you later, man. Hopefully you don't forget about the two crazy dudes doing videos of baseball, and you may be watching it right now, and you're like, one day make it to the pros and, and say, ah, those crazy dudes, I learned hitting from those two crazy dudes. I wish I could, I can, my parents can take me, but I was watching them in YouTube for free. Little Ramirez, he got from Cleveland. He's a small guy, but he got great mechanics. But we need to learn how he moves. So, and he like 40 home runs, you know? So it's something that I like. So if we can see more kids like him, 
you will see better baseball there because they're moving right. But they, it's a lot of uh, lack of uh, knowledge and ego uh, about how to move. So, but this guy, he moving, he doing the drill, yeah, teaching everybody, woohoo. This is a great deal to stay back. But when he doing this move, that tell me that he's lacking in some knowledge. Because the ball's in the teeth. I probably understand, yeah, the ball coming in my chin, and he maybe is not staying back right because everything is rushing, whatever. He maybe don't hit in a long time. It happened. But at least when you know the knowledge, you know the right move, you will tell yourself, dude, that was wrong for me, kids. I want you to stay back. I'm not, I can do it right now. I need to create better tilt or whatever, but you can do it better. Let's go. And then you get the bat to the kid. But right there, the simple drill right here, and he didn't stay back. Even when he trying to teach players they stay back with that little, you lose the purpose. You lose the purpose. It maybe help you just a little bit because you don't move that far, but he already moved far enough from elite move. So make sure when you do that drill, you create a separation. You hold yourself in the back right there with a cable, whatever, something that hold you back. You will feel that your weight is back here. Now, when you do the move, if you understand the right move, when the back leg turn and the tilt situation and the turn on the barrel, you will stay in that little square just like big leaguers. Because you see, they move forward, but as soon as they land that front foot, they know how to stay in that square. They don't keep moving forward. They're not drifting. So, when you're here, you don't want to keep, you don't want to do this. That's extra move. The ball already passing, so now you have to rush. Now I'm late. Now I have to guess up front. So I'm becoming that hitter that I maybe have to guess. So from here, you're going to make sure that you really stay back. That's why we are so strong on tilting. At the same time, your barrel working back and your back leg turn to the ball. But when you do that, look at what happened with your, with your body. It will stay still. But when you don't know what is that and you try to put your hands, you will create this. Because you're trying to put the effort forward instead of turning the barrel back and then you tilt and then you create the right move. So create the right move, get the right stretch and from here, make sure you turn the barrel back. And, get, and stay inside the square. Try to stay behind the imaginary line when you move forward right here. Imagine it's a line right from your shoulders and you don't want that, sh that shoulder past that line. From there, you want to turn barrel back and tilt back there. And then work from there. Let me get another one. So I basically don't need that to stay back. I just need to understand what's supposed to happen and watch my videos. Maybe you can use it to get the feeling, but it's not necessary. Even I go further. You can go the other way. If you got problems going forward, instead of putting it back, you can put it going forward. So when you move forward, you can control yourself how to move forward and you will feel like you have to stay pulling back at the same time you move forward. But when you put something this way, pulling you from here, from pulling you back right here, sometimes make you want to move more forward because you're like trying to get out of there. You get what I'm saying? So watch out how you're working. So, but if you got the right knowledge, you would probably get it together without using that, okay? So, pop, and from there, not here, just here. I land right to the middle, and I know I'm turning, I'm not pushing right here. So clean. Watch your coil, pop. Then after that, you can even start moving forward slow. When you start, when after that you create, you can start moving forward, but on the control, or when you land, make sure you don't keep moving forward, okay? Ah, the bat is sweaty, so it may be gonna go fly. So, Oof. ah, the bat is about to go fly, so it's sweaty. People, subscribe, 
go to loscastrobers.com, go to the VIP. If you need help, you need information, you need the right drills, you need guidance, you need us to tell you back and forward what we need to work, get it right, okay? See you in the next one. Boom!